Okay, hi guys, long time no talk. Um, I know I've been MIA for like literally years, I don't even know. But I'm gonna do a makeup tutorial because why not? So let's do a get ready with me since it has been so long. It's kind of gonna be a quick one because I have to go get my boyfriend from work. We're just gonna do this nice and quick. All right, so I'm gonna kind of talk and do this at the same time. Um, I'm using the Tarte creaseless concealer i don't think i really like this concealer but i got out of travel size to try it because normally i use this <laughs> crusty <laughs> elf um i don't even know what this is camo concealer but it's literally yeah you understand um so i'm gonna use that on my lids because i actually don't like how the tart one feels under my makeup and i don't use anything like um what's it called the eyeshadow stuff like the, the base I don't know so I've been just using concealer for years and I decided that I do not like how that tart one feels underneath my eyeshadow so we're not gonna use it and then it's fine under my eyes I guess I got it because I don't like the feeling of like when my when it creases under your eyes I feel like it does that to me a lot so it, it's kind of good for that, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. Please trust my process because I'm going to look absolutely insane for a second here, but I promise you this is how I've always done my makeup and it comes out... I mean, I think it comes out okay. <laughs> so I just put my concealer on underneath my foundation because it still shows, but I feel like it kind of dulls it down a little bit. I know it's been forever since I've actually been on here and made a video but since the last time i've talked to you guys i feel like so much has happened um i know some people don't really care about my videos but i have actually had people ask me oh also this is the elf whatever this is stuff i don't know i don't really like it by itself but i mix it with my foundation because i just feel like it's it's very like runny i guess you could say so i mix it with my estee lauder double wear because I still like to cake my foundation. I know most people don't these days, but I do because I'm a chronic picker. I pick my skin. I love to like pop everything on my face. I'll sit here for hours, like actually hours and just pick at my face until my boyfriend yells at me. But as I was saying, I don't really know what's even happened since I have seen and talked to you guys last. Again, trust the process. So I don't even know what to fill you in on. Um, my apartment burned down a couple years ago so that was fun um that was kind of like rock bottom because i had to start over completely um so that was fun and then i've had a few deaths in the family so i've just been like not i've been busy i've been not feeling like making videos but you know i do miss doing it like i used to love especially halloween time i used to love making um my little halloween videos you know if you guys want to tell me what you actually want to see, because I genuinely don't even know what kind of content people like these days. I know it used to be makeup tutorials, and now people are doing, like, ASMR and stuff, and I like watching it, but I feel weird being, like, I don't know. Anyways, my skin is really, really bad right now. I just, like I said, I'm a chronic picker. I just sat here, and I picked my face for, like, two hours, and that is why we are doing makeup, because I can't even fathom how bad my skin looks right now. Going in with my Hoola bronzer. I love this stuff. It is amazing. I just feel like it's the perfect, not too warm, not too like cool toned. I don't love cool toned stuff on my face. I like to have a little bit of orange, you know? I also have the travel size of it and it has lasted me so long. I've not gotten a new one of these. I don't think in like, you know what? Maybe I shouldn't share that information because it's kind of gross how long I've been using this for. <laughs> I've also been feeling blush lately, which normally I don't like blush. So I have this Juvia's Place little blush palette, and it's got these two colors on the inside, and I literally just... Yeah. And then I just kind of put it on my cheekbone area. I'm liking, like, the little warmth it gives to my face. I also put a little bit of just the bottom pink color, like, on tip of my nose. That was a little bit too much. Okay, I look like I have a cold. And then I'm just gonna set like my entire face. I have a tiny mini 
Laura Mercier powder and I use it to set my entire face because I am super oily as it is and I feel like that that elf um foundation I feel like makes me super oily so I set my entire face with that um I'm sorry if my makeup skills have gone completely downhill I really don't wear it that often anymore so yeah Another thing about me is I just have not been able to hop on the lash extension train. Like, I just, I can't do it. Because I feel like when I do wear makeup, I wear way too much of it to have lash extensions. Um, sorry, I'm going in with my <laughs> my usual, what is this even called? Modern Renaissance palette. I've been using this thing for, I've bought like four of this. Because I just like the one raw sienna color in the corner there. So I just keep rebuying it just to use that color. I don't know if I... There's probably an easier way to do that, but whatever. Um, but yeah, I can't, I can't like get myself to hop on that lash extension train because I just feel like when I do wear makeup, one, I wear way too much eye makeup to try to clean that off of lashes. And two, like depending on my makeup, I don't like to have super crazy lash extensions. I've had them once and that was my thing. It's like, I can't do the crazy thick, like I don't like the feeling of something being on my eyes. So having lash extensions was very hard for me. I ended up picking them off. But also when I do makeup, I like to have like kind of over the top lashes, like somewhat, but I don't want that in my everyday lash extension. So it makes it really hard because I feel like my makeup looks just don't look right to me when I do have extensions because they're either too much for my everyday face or not enough for like my makeup looks. And that bothers me. So I haven't been able to find you know, a happy medium with that. Next, I'm using this little tart. It's like a, I don't even know. It's called Chrome Paint Shadow Pot. I don't know. I love this stuff. I use it for every single makeup look because I just, I love how it looks. Uh, I'm just gonna use my finger because sometimes it's easier. Like, look at that. That is so pretty. I'm in my I don't care era, like, <laughs> makeup wise. Like, I used to do makeup for like three hours and sometimes I still do. But other than that, like, I don't really, I just don't care. Like, as long as it looks decent enough, I'm good with it, you know? I also just wish someone could take my makeup off for me. Like, that, that right there is why I stopped wearing makeup, because I just hate, I hate taking it off. Like, I despise getting home at night and just knowing that I have to, like, take it all off of my face. I don't know why. I don't know what it is. I don't know why that, that's, like, the worst part to me. It's just removing it but I can't so next I got this little benefit gimme brow it's like a little brow gel thing um I like to use it before I put my brow pencil in my eyebrows because it just I feel like it I don't know it adds a little bit of thickness to my brow like I don't really have good eyebrows so I have just been using that little benefit brow volumizer and I just kind of outline I fill in like the tail area of my brows a little bit, but I've just been kind of like outlining my eyebrow and just leaving the center filled in with that, that volumizer. And then at the, the front tip, inner part of my brow, whatever you want to call it, I just draw little like hairs because <laughs> I have none there. I don't grow them there. So I kind of got to make my own, which whatever, it's fine. And I'm doing fine. It's, everything's great. When I'm done drawing those little teeny hairs, I kind of just use the end here, the little spoolie thing. I feel like I'm wording everything so weird. I drag the product through my brow hairs. Now that we're done with that, I'm going to attempt to do my wing on camera. I feel like this never ends well. Oh, also, I forgot to tell you guys what I was using. It's literally a wet and wild brow pencil. Like it's nothing special at all. I normally use the, um, I normally use the ABH Brow Wiz pencil, but it is all gone. So, well, you know, pretty much. And then as always, I've been using this e.l.f. like liquid liner for, I can't even remember how long. Like I've been using this since I was making videos in 2015, I think. Oh my God, I can't talk and, can't talk and wing, you know?
Does anyone else forget to breathe when they're drawing wings? I'm sorry, I just can't talk and do my wings at the same time. For whatever reason, I just completely lose my mind trying to do that. So then I'm using the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. I get everything in travel size. Okay, hear me out. I do everything in travel sizes because I feel like if I don't, things dry out so quick. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, I'll get a mascara and I feel like a month later, I'm not even a month later, like a couple weeks later, I have to add like oil or some type of something into it to make it work good. Better Than Sex is probably my favorite mascara, but it dries out quick also. So I've started getting travel sizes of pretty much everything that I buy. And it has been a game changer because also I don't feel bad if it like dries out and goes to waste. And I can try new stuff more often because I run out of things quicker. And I like to try new products. Well, other than my e.l.f. My e.l.f. eyeliner will always be a staple of mine. That that doesn't count. Doesn't count. And this stuff. This Tarte eye stuff. I'm never switching that out. That is, I will be 97 wearing that same stuff in my eyes. <laughs> like, I don't care. I lied. One more thing is my Elmay um whatever pencil liner oh my god i was gonna make a tiktok before i started my makeup and i totally forgot i'm so sad anyway whatever i'm sad because i meant to make one of those like corny tiktok transition videos and i forgot to take a video before my makeup so r.i.p to that idea that's definitely not happening what is my nose right now whatever <laughs> I, mean, I don't even care i don't care oh my god guys i lied another thing i'll never stop using is the abh amrezy Am amrezy highlighter um mine is actually disgusting like are we kidding are we joking so i had like four of these stocked up right and then when my apartment burned down i lost three of the four and of course the one that came out was my broken one so I was really upset about that and I actually won a PR package from them and I got like a free one in there so that's why I had four. I had like two as a backup and then I won another one so I was like perfect. And I got, it was kind of like a cool PR package too. Um, it came with a mirror and stuff. Obviously I have none of it now so it doesn't even matter. I was really actually upset about that because that stuff is my absolute favorite in the whole world. Um, and I never win anything so like getting a PR package was absolutely wild because that'll never happen to me again so <laughs> i was real hurt about that but it is what it is life goes on um i have my broken one still and i will use it until it is fairy dust okay i had to get my lashes i'm gonna put my lashes on and then i will be right back I went off camera and I put on my lashes and I put mascara on my bottom lash line. My hair is absolutely disgusting right now, so we gotta fix that. <laughs> I'm thinking I'm just gonna slick it. Shocker, I know everyone. My go-to hairstyle lately though has been just to like slick my hair <laughs> straight back. So I think that's what we're gonna do today. I do have my extensions in right now. I haven't had them in in a very long time, so this is weird for me. I cut these myself, so that's embarrassing. Mm. I've been doing slicked, like, bubble braid a lot lately. I've also been wearing it straight up in a ponytail, so I'm thinking... I don't know. I don't know what I want to do. I've already put all this effort into slicking it because it's a process let me tell you um so i might just keep it slicked i think we're just gonna go with the bubble braids so we'll see we'll see how i like it i'm probably gonna end up changing it ow what on earth hello that hurt so bad Let's see here. Let's see. <laughs> Ew! Can you see that? Oh my god. This is not going well. I have the worst. Look at my thumb, first of all. It's sliced. Can you see? <laughs> Can you see that? It is sliced open for my cat. He decided to just. I was like trying to play with him, and instead of playing, he just decided to 
literally threaten my entire life and do whatever he just did to my finger. Um, okay. Can you see that? I feel like I need to like... Uh, this is... This feels like I might take somebody's eye out with my hair. Alright, I think... I think that's good. I'm gonna put in my tiny little hoops. I don't think I'm gonna put all my earrings in. I just don't feel like it, actually. You know what? Fuck it, we ball. I said screw it, we put all the earrings in. Now I gotta decide if I want these giant hoops or these tiny little, you know what? I'm gonna be classy today. We're wearing these little guys because the hoops that I want to wear, which are the big ones, I think are just way too much. One thing I did forget is my lips. I usually don't wear lipstick. However, I'm just gonna do it. Um, another thing I'm really scared of is lip fillers. I just, I don't know. I want them really bad because I have no lips. But I also don't want them to look bad, you know? Instead of getting lip fillers, I've just been overlining the absolute crap out of my lips. So it makes me feel better about myself, you know? Feel me? I'm gonna go get dressed and then I might do like a mini, mini vlog when I get in my car. I got a new car. I was gonna do like a decorate my car with me type thing because I got a brand new Jeep. However, I just don't think I have the energy to decorate. I don't know. Like, I kind of like having nothing in there. Like, I like the minimalist, like, black interior. Nothing. Nothing in there. Not a thing. If this is the final look. I'm gonna go get dressed and then I'm gonna go get bubble tea and pick my boyfriend up from work. So if you guys want more videos, let me know. I'm super awkward at saying goodbye, so I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Oh my god.